piece of shit. Wake up, you piece of shit. Get out of bed, you fat piece of shit. You have nothing to live for. You know you're not good enough, right? You're never going to get anything done. You're never going to accomplish anything because you're a real piece of shit. You're never going to do what you want in life. You're just going to be stuck at this office forever. Because you don't deserve to achieve your dreams. Because you're a real piece of shit. Why do you even work on your goals? Nothing's going to happen. Because you can't do it. You're going to be a failure your whole life. You're not never going to achieve anything. This is a waste of time. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up! We're all on our own individual journeys on the pursuit of happiness, but how do we get there? In my last video, I was stating multiple different ways to achieve happiness by improving certain areas of your life, but there is one thing I forgot to mention. All of these external activities can lead you to a happy life, but what's equally as important is finding happiness in here, in your mind. According to some article I found on Google, an average person has about 12,000 to 60,000 thoughts per day. Of those, 80% are negative. Imagine if most of your day was just thinking negatively about yourself. Well, that was a reality for me two years ago. One thing I struggled with in the past was my mental health, and I didn't really like talking about it. I think it just came from a sense of not wanting to seem weak, which was stupid, but that's how I was thinking. So what I would do is I would fake my happiness on the outside, but on the inside, I would berate myself for, you know, literally just existing and I would call myself like a loser or a piece of shit. It, it was bad. Side note, if any of you guys are struggling with mental health, my older brother, he has a channel called Ripple and he advocates on mental health. It's a little clip. If you're struggling with mental health, I just want to remind you that self-worth and self-love is the best way to start because it's within yourself where you can find the power to change this world. For the full podcast or for his channel, you can view it in the description below. At one point, enough was enough and I slowly started to like myself, which took a lot of time and a lot of hard work, but this is how this tattoo originated. The way I did that was by doing things that gave value to my life. And in my last video, I talked about everything I did. You can view it here or here. I don't know where it's going to be. I started traveling, I started boxing, I started getting my money right, and it got me out of the current situation that made me feel like shit, but I still wasn't happy. Even now, there are certain times I still talk negatively about myself, and most of it's due to the fact I'm not living autonomously. I started off by building this brand saying fuck a 9 to 5, but now I literally work at a 9 to 5, because I didn't realize when I was a kid that I needed money to pursue my dreams. So I'm stuck here until I figure out how to make money from talking to a camera. But the question is, what can we do right now to achieve happiness in the mind? Who better to look at than Matteo Ricard? Considered to be the most happiest man in the world, Matteo is a Tibetan Buddhist monk who participated in a 12-year brain study on meditation and compassion. The scan showed excessive activity in the brain's left prefrontal cortex compared to its right counterpart, allowing him an abnormally large capacity for happiness and a reduced propensity towards negativity. Basically, he's a very happy man. So what can we learn from Mateo? Well, I just finished his book Happiness and one of the key takeaways he says is to start training your mind like you train to run a marathon. Everybody has the ability to have a light and happier mind. It just takes work. The same way you'd run to train for a marathon, you have to train your thoughts and your mind. And Ricard's preferred way of training is meditation. He specifically talks about mindful meditation, where we maintain a moment-by-moment -moment awareness of our thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations, and surrounding environment through a gentle, nurturing lens. Start by thinking happy thoughts for about 10 to 15 minutes a day. When we feel experiences of happiness and love, it's fleeting and we move on to the next thing. Instead, concentrate on not letting your mind get distracted and keep focus on the positive emotions for the next stretch of time. These two practices of meditation and positive thinking is the definition of happiness from the happiest man in the world. So I give it a try for a week.
This is day one of living like the happiest person in the world. Read this article. The way to just be happy, according to him, is to fill your mind with happy thoughts for 15 to 20 minutes a day. It usually takes me about like 15 to 20 minutes to fall asleep. I'm going to think happy thoughts because I'm trying to be happy. You dig? <laughs> it's day two um, of meditating and I didn't really see much of a difference between yesterday and today, but I'm gonna try, really try hard today before I go to bed. Just be more mindful of just the present moment and my current situation. And yeah, I'm gonna try and get a little more happier today. It's day three on this experiment of mindful meditation and positive thoughts. Honestly, it's not like making such a big difference. So I got his book on Audible, Happiness, to just kind of have his perspective, because man wrote the book, you know? <laughs> See if I can implement it within me just trying to find my overall happiness. It's day four and trying to perfect my happiness. I don't know, today I just didn't feel really good. You know, like, I recently found like a YouTuber who started in 2020 and got a million subscribers in a year. And I feel like I just focus a lot on comparing myself, you know, which, which is bad. Cause you know, I started before them, but like I wasn't posting constantly. Today it was just like a lot of just comparing myself and then like, realizing you know like oh shit my videos aren't that good compared to other people which just made me like not want to work because i'm like what's the point you know which is really bad perspective so i'm going to try to focus my thoughts less comparison and i'm going to try to think more positive thoughts to myself realizing i'm on my own individual journey after four days it's still pretty hard What's up fools? Today is day five, living like the world's happiest man. I just finished this book, which was happiness. The three main takeaways I learned from it was mindful meditation, positive thinking, which I already knew. And the third thing I learned actually was uh, altruism, which is basically caring about other people more than you care about yourself. And today was like actually the first day where I haven't really overthink. I overthink a lot, especially when I'm alone, you know, and I'm alone a lot because we're in quarantine and now I'm working from home, so. Hello, this is day six of mindful meditation. One thing I realized from reading the book is the fame and the money, you know, all that, all that stuff doesn't matter and it won't make you happy. The only way you can be happy is internally and it doesn't matter what situation you're in. You could literally be like the poorest man in the world and still be happy. Hello, this is day seven. Going throughout this entire week, I still don't obviously wanna be where I am like with my goals, but meditating and being mindful and positive thinking, it did help me throughout the week with just being present and not comparing myself to others. I have a big problem with that. And it helped me stop overthinking. And that's my biggest takeaway from it. I would highly recommend meditating. If you want to read the book on happiness, which not only talks about mindful meditation, it talks about a lot of things. There will be a link in the description below. My question for you is, have you ever tried meditation? And after watching this, would you consider doing meditation? Please like, please subscribe, please turn notifications on, you know, and uh, stay on average, fools.